Okay. We are going to start training up some of these other people. We're just going to send Anthony Gum in for... Nothing yet, actually. I have my own plans for myself. We'll send Chili in. <laughs> he can be a ranger. He can charge in and try and get shit done. There you go. He's wearing his plaid armor right now. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's make contact and actually start getting money and things like that. New objective added. No, oh, yeah, we, we already researched that. We already been saw that scene. To allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically, the implanted chip is the key. All right, we're gonna start researching resistance I'll radio as well. Begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance and we're ready to move on the alien black site on your order. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. Well, you say that we should be ready for a tough fight. We currently only have rookies, so yeah, we'll we'll try and just make contact all around the place. It's a money. We've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Understandable. Make contact. Local, regional. Nothing on the local comms. Oh no, they're getting hit with the retaliation strike. Ready to move on the resistance haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. Setting course for the Arctic. This is gonna be super bad. This is gonna be super, super bad. Oh my god, oh no. Oh man! We don't have any super advanced soldiers at the moment. Or oh, yes, we do. We have Tom and Apex still. We have our squatty grenadier. You know what? Maybe this isn't going to be as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, let me just make sure that that's all we have. So we have two grenadiers. A sniper and support. I should probably make a med kit. You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Well, that's really awkward. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have bought 50 supplies worth of recruits. I had decent enough soldiers anyways. I was gonna get a med kit for Tom, so that way he can heal people when they get their shit fucked in. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Remote reconnaissance picked up heavy comms traffic from alien forces moving to attack a resistance outpost in this region. And we're the only ones with any chance of stopping them. We're heading in to lock down the area. Neutralize all hostile contacts with extreme prejudice. At least there won't be a time limit for this. Time limits are the bane of my existence. Five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Alright, we're gonna get our sniper pretty immediately up to the high ground. Closing on target position now. And hopefully she'll be able to see pretty much everything. We've got Advent here. Of course, there are enemies right there. What the hell? Well, that was kind of unavoidable. <laughs> of course, they're gonna be legitimately right around the corner. Okay. We can get a, we can get a good 75% chance on this officer because they actually put themselves in an odd position. They're almost pretty much right out of the open from our perspective. 
<laughs> they have a tree on one side, yeah, but Jesus. Alright, will we be able to get a shot off from here? No. That is weird. Alright, that's definitely a dash. We don't want dashes in our life. Moving to designated coordinates. Every time we've dashed, bad things just happen. Although, we got a flank already. Alright, Apex. Let's see if we can get this Advent Officer in one shot. You missed completely. Not even a chance at all. Target's still up. Uh, Alright. Where could I go? That counts as... Ah... A one move, so that way I can still get a good shot up. We have this spot over here. Order I'm trying to focus on the officer on the because obviously they're the bigger threat. But they're probably not going to be all that visible from here. Yeah, okay. We'll go for the other guy then. It's down. Tom Yoga Pants! You are going to have to do some damage to this guy. But maybe we can try. Ah, here we go. Perfect. This will be able to see the this will be able to location. see the officer from the backside, possibly have a flank without them being able to get a reverse flank on us. Yep. Okay. I was going to go here. And that would have allowed them to just go to the side and blast us immediately, but this is 94% chance to hit. You are dead. Good job, Tom! Okay! Enemy down! Oh! <laughs> ha! They missed a civilian! I've never seen that before! And now a sectoid is burning? Besides the fact that Jane Watson died. We're seeing heavy civilian casualties, Commander. We have to stop this. Now the sectoid's burning itself out. We don't have to worry about it. Okay. We... We're gonna start rushing forward. Location so we can trigger the next group of enemies. Maybe get some snipes off on them. The Resistance managed to recover and restore a handful of these mobile communications jammers over the years. With a few makeshift repairs, these things have proven invaluable to the resistance effort. Go on, head okay. to the ship! I thought I was gonna say something like, You might be able to access those for supplies! And I'd be like, Yeah, I like supplies! On Overwatch. But it didn't happen. Now, where's a good heavy cover location? Not really any nearby except for this tree. We'll go here then. Running. Trying to be cautious, while still trying to be speedy. It's a hard balance. Oh my god. Oh, that sectoid. Three damage, you're ready. By the time we run into it, hopefully it'll be dead. Ouch. Heading out. Okay, we are going to rush up. Got it covered. So we can at least rescue this civilian. Advent troops spotted. Really? That's interesting. Sick. That's a sectoid that was burning. Or maybe there's a second sectoid in the in the darkness. I don't know. It said a sectoid is burning and it's perfectly fucking fine, actually. That's really disappointing. Oh well. Uh, who has a high chance of getting hurt? 56% chance on that guy. I could shoot a grenade. What did I just do? Go fuck off. I accidentally just double clicked on the grenade thing. And so I shot the grenade nowhere close to where I wanted it to go. Mistakes keep happening, man. Mistakes that I, obviously, you know, I didn't choose for them to happen. It's one thing for me to, like, run a person through a fucking window. Because I wasn't looking at pathing. It's another thing for me to click on a thing, but then accidentally double-click. And because I double-clicked on it, that meant 
Oh, by the way, just shoot it fucking in the middle of nowhere. I was trying to remove that sectoid's high cover. So we'd be a little bit happier in life, but I guess we're just gonna have to kill the advent trooper. Or miss, or miss, or miss, yeah. Yeah. I'll that, that's... That, that's a theme, yeah. It's sticking around. Will do. Nope, there is a second sectoid, all right. about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. sure a lot of these civilians are going to die today. There's not a lot of choices I'm being given here. Hey, at least the civilian ran off. Not Kristen, though. Kirsten Jensen. We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. I'm working on it. There's just so much shit. Just so much shit. God, this thing's attacking the same turn. Please, please don't do this to me. It's attacking the same turn. God damn it. Okay, this is bad. Watch the sides! Alright. Alright, 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 We have a 72% chance to hit this faceless. And we're currently in heavy cover, so I'm gonna actually take this chance. To try and kill this thing immediately. As much as I don't like that sectoid, I can't even see it at the moment. I'm running low on ammo. If I go here, this will actually put me out of line of sight for that guy, which will make me happy. But the sectoid's right behind this tree, so fuck it. No matter what I do. Vanya Semenyov is in a really bad position. Shit, that thing is still alive. Draining ammo fast. Okay, all right. We have a ninety-one percent chance on the the faceless, which would be very nice to take advantage of. Let me see what happens here. Okay. Rolling. I need the faceless to die, obviously. But I also want this soldier to die. Alright. At least some things are going positive there. We gotta make up for everything bad that's happening. It's probably gonna shoot Yemenyov. That's fine, because we have, you know, we have Nuke. He Enemy makes up for things. Us. No, 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 please, no! Please don't shoot Yemenyov. Apex, don't do it. How many civilians have died? Okay. Very interesting. We have seven civilians left. I think we'll be fine. Let me let me move back a bit. And then Understood. shoot a grenade. Moving out. Which should allow my sniper to do some serious damage. There, catch. <laughs> you have no cover now! 
Enjoy this 91% shot to the face! <laughs> Miss the target! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Moving to designated position. Well, I got killed. I got hurt by the ninety-one percent. <laughs> Running dry. Just doesn't die. Sectoids just don't die, man. They're like thin men combined with sectoids here. from the last game. Except with bullshit. Lots of bullshit. I'm sorry you can't save the civilians fast enough, Bradford. I think another faceless came out. Or oh, that was a zombie. I did- Oh, they brought another zombie up. Okay. If this does three damage... Hmm. We're gonna get rid of its cover. Although obviously I should move. Rolling. I don't want to hit it directly because I'm afraid of the four damage. I don't need that in my life. I don't, I don't need the four damage. It is not letting me fire my grenade. Interesting. This is for you. But yeah, I don't want to. To destroy, I don't want to kill it with an explosive because explosives destroy the items that are on it. So if it has an item, I need it. So that should be a half cover now. If it's not, I call massive shenanigans. Yeah, I super call shenanigans. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna point blank shoot you in the face. Moving to position. That's what's happening here right now. I'm tired of your shit. This shouldn't even fucking be considered it being in cover. Adjusting Let's be goddamn honest, we're in point blank range. This little stub of tree isn't doing anything for it anymore. <laughs> this is so fucking unbelievable. I'm done. I'm done. I don't give a shit about it. its weapons and whatnot. I can't even. I can't even. Alright. Just everybody miss. Everybody fucking miss. Everybody miss. Let's do good. that. Four people just miss trying to I'm shoot this fucking out. thing. I don't even care about being in the open. Fucking shoot somebody. Crit them. I don't give a fuck. Get the hell out of here, Yemenov. Fuck off. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Every fucking person missed that guy. I don't know where his zombie buddy went. Somewhere in the fog of war, while everybody else is dying to another sectoid. The only saving grace is that sectoid is halfway dead. Ah, <sighs> this is why ranges would be good. Out there, Commander. That camp is getting wiped out. I think we've lost. I think we've lost. The reason I say that is because there is currently five civilians left, Roger that. and there's two aliens in the fog. So if they kill two more people, that brings it down to three, and I can't save... Here, catch. I can't save four more people. If there's only three people left, you know? I'm ready. Nailed him. He failed another mission. <laughs> it's Straight in a time. row. At least one of those people are in the back. We have two people back here. Unfortunately, we don't have 
another one in the back, so oh well. Moving to designated coordinates. You're safe. Now get out of here. Damn it. Stay right there. I want you to move up and save another civvy. You're safe. Now get moving. Let's rock. The nearest civ is nowhere close to us. Oh well. Heading out. Scanning. Moving on target location. If we're lucky, if we're really, really lucky, we will be able to get to the other sibs, or we will attract the attention of the of the advent before those right other there. sibs can die. Because it seems like the aliens are either standing still, or they're trying to search the map for the other civilians and they can't find them. I'm all over it. Where the hell are these guys? We probably should move up because if they're behind this building, my sniper's not gonna be able to think. <gasps> we found two more civilians. Okay. Roger that. I don't know what the fuck just happened. The air just yelled at me. Alright. Good news, good news. Sectoid used its turn to reanimate someone. That was close. As much as I want to engage with the enemy, it's not happening. We're rescuing people. It's a sectoid. Don't you do it. Watch the flex. Okay. Anybody else feel that? Nice. I resisted a mind spin. Either there's another sectoid somewhere on the map, or that sectoid's controlling two people. I don't know. And <laughs> we don't see a little purple lights leaking to him. Alright. At the very least... At the very least, we can save this civilian. But I obviously would like to move my character. Okay. So we have two reanimated. And if we assume that they're linked to this sectoid, all we need to do is move to a position where we can kill the sectoid. And we are good. We win. Confirmed. <sighs> okay, alright. You know what? Fuck this. I can't believe you missed any it's still moments. Why, Tom? Why, why do you hate yourself? Do you hate life? Because that's what's going on right now. I am trying to kill this Psy Zombie, so that way Tom doesn't die again. On the move! Go on, get out of here! 
Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. You know what? Fuck you guys. Whatever. We saved six civilians. Oh, come on. Run and try on ammo. If you guys want to keep missing shots that you have really high accuracy for, oh well. You know, that's that's the point of the things. You can miss a 99% shot. Because that 1% is going to get in there somehow. I just wish the old boy. Wish it didn't happen as much. Oh, he's dead. Guaranteed now. Zombie's going to hit him for more than 5 damage. Bye, Tom. Again. Oh my god, the zombie missed. Oh my god, the zombie missed. But will the other zombie... Be close enough to do one turn hit. Yep. Oh my god. Take it heavy fire. <laughs> Tom can survive the zombie apocalypse. That's what we can take from this. Understood. Moving out. For the love of all that is holy, shoot out this window and kill the sectoid. Are you kidding me? Okay, I thought the I thought the second lock on was locking onto the zombie because the sectoid's so close, I can't see it properly. Alright, let's see how many of the reanimated belong to that guy. Get in the water here. Both of them! Thank God! My assumptions were right about that. Now shoot through the wall, please. <laughs> Good riddance. Oh my god, we did it. Minus 15, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. We lost Yemenov. We pulled him out of the fucking, like, wilds just for him to die in his very first mission, but you know what? Whatever, we saved seven civilians. And Tom dodged two zombie swipes. Good job, Tom. Most under fire. Tom Yoga Pants Fox. Moved furthest, Tom Yoga Pants Fox. <laughs> Holy crap. We missed so many shots. That was ridiculous. Like, I understand for like the 20 to 30%, I'm not annoyed at, uh, I mean, I obviously would love to have made those, but, oh, the 80 to like 90% shots that missed. Those just threw everything out of whack. Like I could have killed the sectoid that fucked over Yemenov way earlier if they had just hit the damn thing. Tom is the only one who gets a promotion. Understandable, he's the only one who deserves it at this point. All right. We're gonna go for revival protocol. I like the idea of it. I need to actually start using it. Uh, disoriented, stunned, and panicked. So what do we get? We got, whoo, holy shit. We got a superior focus. That means the game encour is encouraging me to make a psionic soldier. Understandable. Hello, Commander. We're low on supplies. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. All right. I'm pretty content. Pretty content about that. We live through the mission. Uh, destroyed colony, or co convoy, we're not looking for that right now. We're trying to make contact Setting with New India so I can make Indian more money. Regional zone. I think we're gonna get the council report now, actually. Incoming message for you, Commander. 
Yep, there you go. Your quarters now. You New staff available. considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Commander, we have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Okay, the next retaliation strikes in five weeks. That's not that bad. We're definitely going to try and go for whatever alien cipher is, because having things cost double intel around the time we unlock the black market Commander, is not what I want. The Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. Yeah, no, don't worry. I'll handle that situation. I just need to... Keep on going around. It gives you Illyrium Crystals for dealing this area out. It's fine. All right. This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems. But we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. 30 days. Okay. 30 days. Yeah. So what does a shield power coil cost? Does it even tell you? I don't know. We're gonna keep on trying to clear stuff. Because I desperately need as much as I can get. And I need another power source. Of course, I don't have supplies for a power source just yet. At the very least, now we know. I shouldn't be trying to excavate down because that requires a lot of resources. Work is well underway. 